Well, Juan, uh, I talked to you the day that you got called up here by the Nationals, and we discussed what had been going well for you at AAA Rochester. A few weeks later now, it's been going well here in the major leagues as well. What's allowed you to carry over the success that you were having in AAA up here at the highest level of baseball that there is in the world? Uh, I think confidence and uh, faith and uh, support, you know, uh, I think those are three big things. Uh, I think my family does a great job by uh, – uh, giving me confidence and and support, and I thank my faith to you know my Lord Savior Jesus Christ. He you know keeps me in check, and uh, it's kind of like he make he makes me think that this is not as important you know as serve him, and uh, I think that that helps me relax and just uh, do my thing. Kind of keeping everything in perspective, sort of deal. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Just playing the game, have fun, play hard, and then. That's pretty much it. You, I'd imagine it's hard to keep confidence really at any level of baseball, even when you're going well, because there's so much failure in the game. The Cardinals let you go at the end of last season. The Nationals pick you up, sign you to a minor league deal. How did your confidence make it through that stretch, being let go by uh, an organization and then signing a minor league contract and building your way back up to major leagues? Yeah, honestly, I was... Uh working out extremely hard i was uh at home in the off season just preparing for this moment you know and uh when i get those news i mean yeah it it was hard but i think it didn't change you know i was still working still preparing for this moment and i knew uh wherever i landed uh i was gonna have a small window of chance to prove myself and and i think that's the most important thing i was just preparing and and just getting being ready to to present to spring training how has it felt fitting into the mix here with this nationals team you knew these guys in spring training you got to get acclimated to them and kind of the, the culture that was growing here how's it been over the last few weeks joining them up here in the regular season i think it's similar it's the same like uh the guys were great down there in spring training and and just kind of carry through uh this first couple weeks i'm here uh Everything, everybody's nice, like uh, Davey and all the coaches have been very welcome uh, to me, and uh, it's been great. The amount of success that you have had here, um, has it surprised you in a way? I mean, you knew your ability, you, you believe in yourself, but it's not easy to do what you've done uh, over the last few weeks. Yeah, I mean, we, I think I... I, I'm surprised, you know, a little bit. Uh, just thankful, thankful and grateful for the opportunities given to me, and uh, just trying to keep it going, trying to enjoy this ride, you know, enjoy the moment, and just again keep working hard as hard as I can and play as hard as I can to to take advantage of this opportunity and and just help this team win. I read that when you were with the Cardinals organization, you struck up a relationship with Albert Pujols during uh, the tail end of his career. Tell me about that, and what was it like um, becoming friends with a guy who is one of the greatest players in the history of the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's tough because in 22 spring training, I was supposed to uh, be the DH and make the team, and they signed Albert the last, like, three days of spring training. So, I mean, uh, at first I was, you know, kind of sad, devastated, like, that I... Uh, didn't make the team, but then, you know, they kind of told me, hey, you're not making the team because we signed a Hall of Famer. So trying to learn as much as you can from him, but you're going to be here. So, I mean, that was kind of uh, the instructions from Ali Marmo, the manager. And so when I got up there, I got called up. I remember Kansas City, the first one, gave me a huge hug was Albert. So right there, it just kind of gave me the opening of just being talking, talking, talking trying to learn as much as I can, like one of the best right-handed hitters in the history of the game. So I was able, and he, you know, the guys were making fun that he was kind of my uncle, you know. And uh, But, yeah, he was he was just there for me, and he still is. Like, we call, we, we call each other, we talk to each other. I mean, he's there for me, so I'm really grateful and thankful that I have a guy like him in my corner, you know, supporting me and, and just helping me overall. I'm sure you've learned more from him than you could tell me in an hour, but what were the biggest takeaways, you think, from being around him, watching him work every day, and what he was sharing with you, what he was uh, talking to you about? Yeah, I think uh, 
the biggest biggest things I learned from him was his big advice was because I'm talking, talking, talking to him, right, and trying to learn as much as I can. He was like, "Hey, observe, listen, and stay quiet." So that was one of the biggest ones. Just trying to, you know, sometimes we talk and we don't, we don't hear as much as we can. So. He was just kind of telling me, hey, learn from everybody you have around. You can learn about this game every single day. And I think the other one is like his preparation. You know, it was his last year. He was, you know, getting old in a sense. And I just I was able to watch him prepare for games and and how focused he was. And like I remember first half he was hitting like 100 something and he was acting like like what he is, like a Hall of Famer, like his confidence never uh, went down and so he was telling me about you can never show you could be in a slump or you can be hitting great and you you don't show the other team what is going on with your swing you know so like I think all those are like the biggest ones like I was, of course I learned so many other things but like again it was a blessing and it was I'm so grateful for him Juan well, sometimes guys get called up from the minor leagues and they get three at-bats in a week, they get one at-bat in a week. You've gotten to play every single day since you've gotten called up. How are you approaching the final couple months of the season here to make the most of this opportunity that you've been getting? Yeah, honestly, like I said, I'm blessed. I'm blessed that um, Davey and the Nationals have given me the confidence to, you know, play every day. And uh, like I said, I'm just trying to play hard, play as hard as I can, uh, give it all. And like you said, take advantage of these little opportunities and and trying to show what can, what can I do. And, like, again, I just play hard. Juan, thanks for the time. Keep, uh, keep working hard and getting it done. Thank you. Appreciate it.